All right, ladies and gents, this is Will Zanders, and we're here with today's training on uh, January 10th, Sunday. We're going to do two training videos today, so make sure that you like and subscribe so you don't miss the notification for training video number two. And I got an email a day uh, from one of, one of my mentors, my good friend, Chuck Holmes, Mr. Six Figures in Six Months. So shout out to Chuck Holmes for dropping this email. And this particular email is on 10 things that all top MLM earners do. Uh, so we'll just go through that very quickly. Um, because I think it's a lot of value in there. And for those of y'all who don't know Chuck Holmes, he's a great network marketing leader and a good close personal friend. And Chuck's been in this industry for, I think, 18, 19 years and made a whole bunch of money. And even more important than that, he's helped a whole lot of people make a whole bunch of money. I'm one of those people. So let's dive into it. So number one in the list of 10 things that all MLM top earners do, and this is not an exclusive list, but it's a pretty good one. Number one, they focused on one opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, top earners do not promote multiple deals. And in most cases, at some point in their career, they stick with one company for the long haul. OK, so unless the company really, you know, mucks it up real bad. Guess what? Top earners typically stick around with one company for the whole duration. It might not be their first company. But at some point as a leader, I can speak to this. You definitely got to plan a flag. And that's why we're so excited to be here at HBN. Flags planted, uh, 17 months and going. I can't wait. All right, We're going to be here forever. It's just what it is. Now, uh, second, so, so focus is key. Focus on one opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. You can't win the Kentucky Derby riding two horses. Just doesn't work that way. Now, uh, number two, this is a good one. The good one to know, they personally sponsor between 100 to 500 people in their career. Now, that may sound like a lot, but if you think about the fact that they're with the same company for two, three, four, five, 10, 20, 30 years, it's really not the, uh, that much. I think for seven figure earners, the person I know who sponsored the fewest, it was still about 40 some people, uh, you know, for him to make that type of money. And he just had really good timing within an opportunity. But most six and seven figure earners I know, uh, myself included, we have all sponsored hundreds of people personally. And believe it or not, a lot of those people quit. It's just it's just part of the game. But you do have to sponsor the people, uh, statistically speaking. Um, that's what it's really all about. And those numbers break down to somewhere between two to five people a month. As long as you're sponsoring on average between two to five people a month, you're good. Um, and just stick with the company, keep rolling. And some months it might be one, but you can make it up the next month with three. You see what I'm saying? So as long as you're somewhere between two to five people a month, uh, you're good to go. Okay. Number three, they lead by example. Top earners always lead by example. They retail and recruit. They retail, recruit, and help people duplicate, and they make new exposures every single day. That is a fact, okay? Uh, number four, they focus on building depth. I was just talking to a good friend of mine, Joe Bilderbig Davis out of Houston, Texas, another MLM top earner. We were just talking about building depth first. And then with, this is something Dale Calvert espouses. This is something that we teach. This is something that Tim Sales talks about, especially if you're in a comp plan like HBN, definitely want to get those legs going stable. And then with will come as a result, all the money you'll make by building depth. But I've even heard some companies say that width equals wealth, but depth equals stability. Okay. If you got the right company at the right time, depth actually equals width and stability. It's strange. Uh, that's rare that you have a compensation plan as explosive as the one that we have here at HBN. But at the same time, uh, you do want to focus on building depth and you understand that this is a long term play and you have to build the roots for the tree really, really deep. So that's awesome. And uh, tap rooting is a thing. Y'all can YouTube and catch some videos on that. Uh, number five, they promote events. And that can be the team Zoom, the team training call. This year has been a crazy year. But when the events are in person, they are fanatical about promoting the event, not just attending. Anybody can show up to an event. Anybody can show up to an event. They promote the event. And I've heard Eric Worre say that the person who has the most people at the event wins. Another uh, multiple seven figure earner, uh, Blue Elam, a good friend of mine, Blue, would always talk about his number one thing he wanted to do was have the most people at the event. Everything else is cool. But you, once you do the recruiting and you understand the basics and you're making a little bit of money, you really want to explode your check. You want to be the person with the most people in your organization at the event. And that goes right in long, number six. They think long term. Successful distributors always think long term. OK, long term. If you know that you're in it for the long haul, 
Okay, you know that you're in it for the long haul. Your default mindset is going to be long term. And number seven, this is my favorite one out the list. They believe, ladies and gentlemen, MLM earners believe in themselves. They believe top earners believe in themselves. They believe in the company. They believe in the products. They believe in the business model. They believe in the pay plan. They truly believe in what they're doing. They truly are products of the product. And I highly, highly, highly uh, recommend if you had nothing else to do, work on your belief. Okay. And here's the thing. It's your job to build your belief in the company, the products, the team structure, the compensation plan, the business model yourself. It is your responsibility to do that. I can't go to the gym and do your pushups for you. Like if I go to read some books on the industry and some statistics and watch some videos and listen to audios and tapes and DVDs to build my belief and I'm going to the events to build my belief and try to give that to you, it doesn't really work that way. I just end up building my own belief. I can't do my pushups, your pushups for you. You got to do your pushups at the gym for you. So build your belief at all costs. Number eight, another good one. They are self-disciplined and they are very good at time management because time management and self-discipline are right in order. And it says right here, they work their business daily even when they don't feel like it. That's number eight. Number nine, they are coachable. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a pause for all the talented people who join this industry of network marketing, but who quote unquote fail because they did, they just weren't coachable and teachable. I've worked with some literal multi-million dollar real estate earners, real estate producers. I've worked with professional athletes in this industry. I've worked with professional musicians who have made millions of dollars in music. A lot of these people, vast majority of them, never make a dime in network marketing beyond maybe making their money back and stuff like that. Why? Because they come into the business and the industry with a certain set of skills or charisma or respect or a network that is not duplicatable in any fashion or any significant, any, any realistic amount of time. It's not duplicatable, but they come in and if you're not coachable and teachable, they're going to go try to build this business by just talking to folk or doing whatever it is they think they're going to do that made them successful in other parts of life. And it doesn't work here and they don't get the results they want in the time they want. And then they're out the door and the whole time. OK, you got a person who hasn't had that type of success in anything ever, really, and their career frustrated and they hate their job and they are coachable and teachable. They follow the play. They follow the script. They learn 100 percent of what we teach. OK, they use 80 percent of what we teach. They change about 20 percent of it to match their own personal style. OK, and their personal comforts and things like that. And those people go to the top because they were coachable and teachable long enough to make the money that it takes to build their belief that they were going to be successful. So being coachable and teachable is, is, is incredible. Um, mentorship and leadership are absolutely critical. Coaching and training is critical. And I, I'm going to tell you all right now, you shouldn't be doing what a lot of people are doing, which are paying these gurus and coaches to train them. All right. I'm not naming them. Now. I'm going to bash nobody. There's a lot of people out in the industry that aren't even building businesses. They, they, most times they weren't, it never even became the number one earner in a company ever. I've been the number one earner at my companies before. Okay. I know exactly what that's like in my previous company. I was the number one earner. Okay. The point of the story is I would never want anybody in the organization to go pay ABC guru hundreds or even thousands of dollars to learn how to build the business when they're not in the business, they don't know how to build the business. You have people in your plugged in upline, no matter what company would you with, but especially here at HBN, you have people who are in your plugged in upline who, who have a vested interest, may not be cross line, plugged in upline, okay? Direct line of sponsorship that have a vested financial interest in helping you and teaching you what they did to make the money they made, okay? So I always recommend you go to your plugged in upline first, if you're going to spend money on something, spend money on your business, buy some more products, create more samples in the marketplace and things like that. But coaching and stuff, I'm not a fan if the coaches are not in your company charging you money. Remember, they're making money from you paying them to be coached. They're not making money from building network marketing business. OK, and I don't want to hear anything from anybody built a business back in 1976 and they are going to charge you money to teach you how to build a business in 2020, 2021, 2022. No, they need to be building a business in the trenches in the field. And there are a couple of people out there who are actually doing that. They're building businesses, being successful in MLM and doing some coaching. And I get that. I respect that way more than I respect people who aren't even building, never even been the top earner, but going to teach you how to build a business.
Stop, stop, stop. Okay. And last but not least, number 10. And I'll read this one word for word because this is Chuck's jam. This is his joint right here. Number 10, they use a system. All top earning MLM distributors use a system. It might not be their company system or their upline system, but they have a system to generate leads, show the plan, and train the distributors. Their systems are simple, effective, and duplicatable with their team. And for those of us who are working with us on our cold market lead generation program, the CRMs and things like that, those are all systems. The postcard marketing system, those are systems. Even a button, it's not fancy, but it's duplicatable. It's time tested and proven ages ago and today. And it's a system showing the video, using the coffee questions, using the icebreaker question we taught in yesterday's training. All of these methods are systems and even getting people on the weekly training Zooms. That is a system of training and personal development. So system stands for save yourself some time, energy, and money. It doesn't matter what system you use. We're looking to duplicate the result, not necessarily the method. All right, so don't forget that. It's Will Zams. We got another training video coming right up for you. So uh, good night, God bless, and I will see you at the top. Don't forget to like and subscribe.